Matthew chapter number 24, verses number 30 and 31. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Can I say it like this? This is what everyone is waiting for. When will the Son of Man return. First number 30 starts off and then that's saying after the events in the previous verses we're going to move into that and we know verse number 29 said after the tribulation it goes into some of the last physical signs before Christ makes his second return. The sun shall be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Let's look at that on our graph. Revelation chapter number 14 starting with verse number 1 is when Christ actually makes his return but Revelation chapter number 14 and 14 is when he's actually riding the clouds and that ties exactly in to our verse Matthew 24 and 30 but let's go back and let's see some of those last physical signs that's in verse number 29 here we are when we go to the fourth trumpet of the seven trumpets, the sun and the moon and the stars did not shine. They did not give a third of their light. Then verse, then the fifth trumpet talks about how the stars in the sky shall fall from heaven. It talks about the bottomless pit, the sun darkened for the smoke that came up out of the pit and then the sixth trumpet the deadly 200 million army that will slaughter a third of the remaining population on the earth those are some of the final physical events that will take place before Christ makes his return. Once again, the 10th chapter and the 11th chapter of the book of Revelation are insert chapters. Then Revelation chapter number 11 verses 14 through 19 talks about the faithful seventh trumpet. We know from Yon Teruam or Rosh Hashanah when they blow the trumpet that that great holiday on the biblical calendar the last blast of the trumpet is known as the great blast and so it is in the book of Revelation the last of the seventh trumpet more than likely is that great blast that was spoken of in Matthew 24th chapter and verse number 30 then let's move over and now we move on to Christ coming back and riding in the clouds just like he left in the cloud he will return in the cloud and that ties to our Matthew chapter 24 verse number 30 then Christ shall reap the earth of the believers. Revelation chapter number 14 verses 15 and 16. That ties to Matthew chapter number 24 verse number 31. Once again, 
we can see that Christ laid out in perfect order in the book of Matthew, in the book of Revelation, how the events will unfold. Why? Because he do not want us to be deceived. If we try to look at the events any other way, we must remember there will be a false prophet and an antichrist working false miracles, signs, and wonders to deceive the people. We must not be deceived. Father, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Have your way. Thank God.